Hey folks, this is the Chief Ladiga Trail. Uh, I've been riding about 15 miles now. Been moving a lot of brush out of the trail and uh, had a bad storm last night. And uh, but I thank God it's cold out here. See, I got my gloves on. But uh windy but I have yet to really encounter too much rain but look at this view look at this beautiful beautiful place that God made what an amazing thing to think that God knows every nook and cranny of this world just like he knows every hair on your head that's an amazing thing. Just look at how beautiful this place is. I've been looking through, coming through here, through uh, <clears throat> marshes and swamps, and I've been across three different rivers. And uh, it's just. Uh, been an amazing day uh, to start this trip across America. Uh, I'm just really uh, amazed. I I did a little Facebook Live video earlier today, and uh, the uh, clouds were overhead then. Um, and it was kind of uh, nasty outside, I guess, but I just came into this beautiful canyon here, and uh, uh, I just couldn't help but to stop and get the camera out, because I wanted some of y'all to see Some things maybe you never get a chance to see. Uh, this place that God made. Do you know as beautiful as it is, it groans. It groans for the end. It groans for the end. The Bible says that the whole of creation is groaning for our sin. Because it's ready to to be completed God is long suffering and he doesn't want any to perish he doesn't want any to be left behind you know I, I was thinking about this earlier you know we we have these most of us haven't really thought out the uh, issues of God's sovereignty and man's free will, these type of uh, thoughts. People haven't really thought them out. They think God's in control of everything and everything they do he is put a stamp of approval on And but I got to thinking about earlier you know every time we, we speak about the plan of God and uh, um, I just was thinking about Maybe we should say the plans of God because, uh, you know, every time that you reject one plan, he's working on another way to reel you into the kingdom. And uh, so it's like he's the God of a thousand plans, you know. But the truth of the matter is, hell is the last resort. It, it says in the Bible that God takes no pleasure to see the death of the wicked. In other words, uh, he hates to see even the wicked perish in their wickedness. Because it's his hope that they would turn from that and that they would be made holy, righteous. You know, you can stand like this mountain here is stood all the years the test of time it's stood it doesn't go anywhere that can be like your faith I 
heard someone say, well, when we die, eternity starts ahead of us. But that's not really true. It's, it, we start, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It starts right now. So, uh, nitpicking, but... It's important that we recognize that hell is God's last resort. If you're on your way there and maybe feel like you've gone too far, and, uh, maybe you feel like maybe you feel like God just can't forgive you anymore. Maybe you feel like you've turned to Him too many times. And rejected him too many times and well I'm here to tell you that I bet he'll give you one more time if you just turn to him in sincerity ask him to forgive your sin this is what Jesus died for to forgive sin he came to seek the lost if you're lost right now if you're tired if you feel broken you're just exhausted by your sin see sin is exhausting people can't sleep at night can't can't go to bed without this or that and they got to have all these things to function and it's just not so uh, I'm out here on this trail I, I got water got a little bit of beef jerky got a little bit of dry food in some bags back there and God has given me everything I need look at this amazing scenery amazing these rivers streams it's an amazing amazing place get saved your life when you start to give your life to God your your life becomes a little bit easier in in certain ways in that you're not carrying it anymore yourself and it's not so hard to carry and uh, If you're listening and you, uh, you know, you're saved or whatever, but maybe you feel like you're gotten grown cold in the Lord and you question your walk or you don't feel like you're uh, just not in the same place as you used to be, I'm here to tell you, go back. Go back to wherever God, wherever the last time you remember God in your life, go back to that place. Now, I don't mean physically getting an airplane or a bus or a train, but in your closet, get in your closet and pray and go back to that place where you can remember that you were on fire for God and ask God, honestly, open that lid. It's not scary. Whatever's in there, God will forgive you for it. But don't be like Jonah, because Jonah said, they that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. You see, Jonah on one hand thought he could go the opposite way that God wanted him to go. And on the other hand, he knew that he deserved to be thrown overboard for the same thing. He knew that. He knew that the wages of sin was death. But he was still hoping that he could find it some other way. That didn't happen for him. Let's see. But, uh...
don't wait till you're in the bottom of the belly of the whale. If you're grown cold in them right now, just admit it and and uh, face that whatever it is, whatever darkness came into your life that you started to hang on to, just let go of it. You say it's easier said than done, but I say no, it's it's easier once you get it done. That's the truth. Uh, just just start and God will give you the power and strength to do the rest. The forgiveness is there. God doesn't hold anything against you. He doesn't do like we do. He doesn't say, well, remember yesterday when you didn't. No, he said it's in a sea of forgetfulness. I remember your sin no more. So, we're, we're forsaking our own mercy when we just uh, refuse to come to the place where we could receive that mercy. That's all. Such a beautiful creation. It's all here to be enjoyed. All this God made with His hand in one day. It's all to be enjoyed. It's all for you. For me. This is the kingdom of heaven. We bring it down from heaven on earth that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So, just, I just pray that these words will make an impact on your life today. I pray, even though I'm miles away from most people right now, I'm about two miles out of town, I hope. Uh, but, uh, even here, through this video, some of you can see and hear from God what God has put in my heart, and what God is saying to you as people, one foot after the other. Go back to wherever you left him at. He's there waiting. God bless you.